You know, I have kind of a dream that I've had for years, and that is uh, to create a little community. Back in the old days, the hippies would have called it a commune, I guess, but I'll call it a community of like-minded folks out here in the country on my ranch in Texas. And uh, if that were to ever happen, we would ever get uh, a handful of us, a little group together to have some fun in the country. I would want to take a synthesis approach to it because that's the approach I take in my personal life. I take a synthesis approach in life. And what I mean is this, my life, like yours, like everybody's, we all have different things we're into, right? We have different facets of our life, different facets of our personality. And uh, they mostly stay separate from one another. In my case, I, I have my religion, uh, which is kind of a Jesus-based thing. It's like a version of Christianity. I call it the Knee Meadow Way. Knee is spelled N-A-O-I, but we'll get into that some other time. So I have my spiritual side of me. I have a sensual side of me. And that uh, kind of gets into what I like to call my quinkiness. Quinkiness. What does that mean? Well, it's a word I invented some time ago. That's like a combination of kinky and quirky. So if you have kinky quirks, you can combine those and it becomes quinkies. If you've ever uh, checked out my Instagram page or my Twitter feed, or check me out on my website, which is qerri.net, uh, you probably know what I'm talking about when it comes to quinkies. <laughs> They're kind of sexy things, but uh, think of it as running naked through the woods, like forest fairies, acting immature, and uh, a few other things that we won't get into in this video, but uh, that's my quinky side. I also have another aspect of my personality, which is uh, playing music. I like to pick the guitar, play the piano, and sing some old songs. Uh, and what else? There's another side of my personality that's called loving nature and country, the country life and uh, old-fashioned Americana, like we refer to it here in this country, or um, old-fashioned uh, institutions and traditions. Uh, okay, so my point is this. If you use the synthesis approach to life, all of those things, those different facets, become one. My religion, my quinkies, my spirituality, my love for nature, they're not different things I do at different times. They're just me at all times, 24 seven. I am all of those things at once. In fact, I've always believed that sensuality is the flip side of uh, spirituality. Deep inside of me someplace in my soul, there is a, a, a little sexiness called sensuality. But uh, there's also in my soul a spirituality. That's the knee meadow way I was talking about. But they're the same thing. I think spirituality can be very closely aligned with sensuality. In fact, I happen to believe that some of the most spiritual individuals who have ever lived on earth, some of our most renowned prophets and religious leaders throughout history, were probably pretty sensual. How about Jesus? It's not a stretch in my imagination to think of Jesus when he wasn't preaching the word. He might have been a pretty sexy dude. He and his disciples might have been doing some kinky things that never made it into the Gospels. You think? Why not? We know that Muhammad and Abraham and a lot of those, uh, and Joseph Smith, a lot of those old prophets and religious leaders were pretty sensual dudes uh, when nobody was looking. 
I bet Jesus and his disciples had some fun. So I think of that. I think of all of those different things, your spirituality and your sensuality, combined with things, in my case, like my music, my love for nature, they're all one thing. So if we ever start as a community, I hope we'll uh, take that synthesis approach to it and just have some fun with it. Religion can be, and, and, and spirituality can be pretty dang fun if it's connected to sensuality and sexuality. You wanna try it? Let's start that community and see what happens. See you later.